What's going on, yeah, ladies yeah, and yeah. gentlemen? It's Dan here. Welcome back to Fallout 4's Far Harbor DLC. Now, I just realized as I was doing the intro, this dude has <laughs> ammo. Mainlander. Great. Fire your gun a few times and you think you're some sort of hero? This is our fight, our island, not yours. Calm down, Dingleberry. I'm not. Hey, buddy. I was just trying to help. Charity makes you weak. Makes you need it more and more. Until you're starving from the lack of it. What happens next time when you wait here, huh? For the next. Either us harbormen survive on our own terms, or we take the long walk together. So if you're here to buy some ordnance, do your business. Otherwise, take the first boat out of here. Before the children of Adam are worse get you. Dude, you have no idea what kind of crap I've done. Show me what you got. You got it. You have no idea. But I could have came here and just bought all his stuff. Look at this. What is... It's a harpoon gun? The Admiral's friend. Black fisherman's overalls. Brown fisherman's overalls. But yeah, I could have bought all my ammo from here, but I didn't, and... Fog. It's dangerous, okay? Okay, thank you. All right, so... National Park Campground. Let's go ahead and take a look. This is way over here. National Park Campground, which is the one of the campground. Um, let's see. All right, so the uh, the power tools are over there. I'm gonna equip the walk in the park as well, and then let's go have a talk with uh, Buddy over here. That's the problem with having multiple multiple things on. It, it gets a little confusing, but. Well, I'm assuming this guy is going to be our next, uh... What? Are they actually cooking up a mire lurk? That is so funny. Look how crispy it looks. <laughs> the last plank. This is where we're going to find, uh... What the hell was his name? Forgive me, I can't remember. Longfellow. Maybe he'll be my companion. Everyone. Oh, everyone. We're trying to have a conversation here. Shut your mouth. Open your damned ears. So the fogs are coming for us all. I can't see any better way of greeting it than to have another round. All Cute. Can I have a seat? Ah, uh, not in the power armor. Captain Avery said you can get me to a cave. Oh, what's this? You've unlocked an issue of Islander's Almanac. Unlock POI map markers across the island. Well, goddamn. You get your hands dirty? <laughs> I'm done leading people to their deaths in the fog. Last fella couldn't keep up. Didn't last five minutes. Yeah, but I'm a beast, dude. Can you tell me about Acadia? Strange folk like there. Call themselves synths. Seems to me they just want to be left alone, to live their life in peace. They've done some good turns for us islanders. The fog condensers, most especially, wouldn't even be a far harbor left without those. Interesting. What's a fog condenser? The condensers? They're a tricky bit of science. They keep the fog away. Powered by the wind farm, the synth fellas got up and running. Us islanders don't particularly like being obligated to them. But there you have it. Some parents are worried about their runaway daughter. She went to Acadia, and I need to find her. If someone's headed for Acadia, there's always a story. Yours worth dying over, huh? Dude, I'm no bitch. Yeah. I've done a whole lot more for a whole lot less. Clever with words, aren't you? I could get you to Acadia, but you've got to listen to me. Go where I say, when I say it. Still won't be easy. You stock up on your necessities, Rad X and the like, and then the real work can begin. Should I make any other preparations? Ammo, stim packs, maybe a rocket or three. Worse than my alerts out there. All right, let's go. Let's go, Longfellow. Follow me then. Must I? Oh, this is legit. So he's not a companion. I gotta wait for this jackass. Hold on. Hold on. 
So, uh, I actually have to walk with him. I was hoping I could do it at my own pace. Maybe, Head you know what? Katie is above the fog. Just a minute, let me look at the map. So they did mark everything. That That's nice. So that way I can know what to search for. It's not as much as I thought, but at least it'll give us a chance to wander around a bit. Let's just keep with Longfellow. You might want to take this for the road. Case foul is sin, but it'll help. We need to move through the main path. Old mountain trail would work. Like, look at me! Dude, I've seen some shit, though. That's what I don't understand. It's like, oh, I've found all the areas. That's not on the map. When the bullets start I'm just trying to unlock something. Hold on. Whatever this is, it's it's nearby. <laughs> you guys know the rules. Find it. Is there like a drive-in or something? It's always further away than it looks. So it's a, it's Oh god. Uh yeah, you can have that. I'm going to go back to my dog. Did I abandon him? <laughs> a little bit. Oh no! Oh, I fit! How did I fit? Because I'm just that damn good. I thought I'd be sending Ada a, a longer way, but I kind of... Hold on, my ear's killing me. There we go. Alright, let's have a little shot. Really? Trapper? No, let's just get a shot on him. Oh! <laughs> you want to keep guessing, buddy? You want to keep judging me? Let's 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 equip something a little better for the cause. Let's go with the shoddy what you drank. How about that? What are you shooting at? Ada, you're confusing me. Come on, man. These guys seem to live just fine out here. That trapper had nothing. I'll take that. Hello? They must be up top. Oh, my boys! Everyone's coming out to defend. That escalated quickly. You're not half bad in a scrap. Figured I'd have to take care of a lot of them. Might just make a proper fuck mark and not <laughs> Come on, man. Whoops. Whoa, I don't want to start. No, 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 no. My bad, my bad. Get you all turned. Rappers. But yeah, at least all these extra spots will give me time to like wander about and explore. Oh, that's a little far. Yeah, the chest was the damage point on the uh, on the ferals. Well, wow, that was a good shot. Oh, I'm sorry, Ada. I know you wanted to, to get that one going. A couple of shacks here and there. Nothing too strenuous. We stick to this and we'll make it to Acadia. Game trails crisscross the road, so don't be surprised if we got local wildlife to deal with. All right. But yeah, that'll be something we do once we finish like all the missions or whatever. Like I said, whoa, whoa what do we got here? We got some ferals. Vicious wolf. Wolf down. These don't even sound like they like irradiated wolves. 
grow everything that's cool. <sighs> Still got a ways to go. I'm right behind you. Tons of things to see in this in this DLC. That's good though, because from what I hear, this is the biggest DLC add-on that fall that Bethesda's ever made. I can't, he's hard to hear under Ada. I was a young lad, no higher than your knee. Old island was covered in fog. The fog eventually rolled back. People resettled, but they got comfortable. Started taking things for granted. Folk got short memories. All this has happened before. I gotta remember that I have fusion cells and whatnot again. Energy cells. So I can go ahead and use my energy pistol because I'm such a boss with it. What was that? Wasn't sure. What's coming at me? Oh, we got Myers. Gulpers. There you go. Take that. Oh! Gulp on this! Oh, these things are crazy. These are like big ass lizards. He needed to be put down. <laughs> I had to come in and help Ada. And she's just like, God damn it, man. I had that one. <laughs> Quite the creatures, aren't these things? Oh, hello. That one's down. Let me just. <laughs> Thanks, Ada. Use a beast. How you doing, old man? You still okay? I don't want to put too much strain on you, dog. Busted out car. And where are we heading? Are we heading to that, like, see on the map? Right above the south? The little compass? That empty slot? Is that where we're going? Something tells me yes. Oh, child of Adam. Stringing one more soul to the damnation, old man. Well. What have we here? Another rad worshiping lunatic. That's what. Your barbs do not harm me. I am shielded by my faith. How about bullets? Faith shield you against those two? Who's she? One of them children of Adam preachers. Started off as pests. Now they're more like a menace. Do not sully this one with your blasphemy, old man. You. I suggest you go no further. Acadia is a nest of snakes. Beasts that subvert the will of Adam. Maybe you should take a shower and stay away from those rads. Look at your hair. I thought you were a ghoul when I first came up. I'm like, is this a ghoul? No, it's just some ugly bitch. <laughs> What's Acadia done to make you distrust them? They supply Far Harbor with the means to turn back Adam's holy fog. You'd do well to avoid such creatures. And instead... Seek the only true master of this land. All right, I'm listening. Tell me about Adam. Tell you. Look around. You stride through his kingdom. A land blanketed beneath sacred fog. A land Adam has claimed for his children. And you may join our family if he deems you worthy. Worthy? What do I have to do to join? There is a ritual his children must perform. If you succeed, you will be rewarded with entrance into our family. I don't really want to. I'm gonna say nothing better to do. Suppose I got nothing better to do. Huh. Adam usually prefers those with a bit more <laughs> fervor. But nonetheless, if you wish to test his favor, seek the nucleus. 
You're done wasting time with a fanatic. Thanks for the info on that, girl. Let me just look, actually. Let me go to the map. Is that a possible... Is there a... I really hope this campground feral ghoul thing isn't one of those things that I think it is. There's the nucleus. That's where she wants me to go. If it gives us something else to do, why not? It's a new faction. I heard about the new faction. I just didn't think it was the children of Adam. These guys are crazy bones. Aha, I knew this would be it. Acadia. It's an obs it's an observatory. And we've arrived. Acadia's already been watching us for a good spell. If you want to talk with them, just go inside. They'll be waiting for you. You need my help again. You come see me. Got a cabin just outside of Far Harbor. A place to tool up your gear, get some rest, or get stinking drunk. <laughs> Just make sure if you're bringing a bottle of something strong, there's enough to share. No, I'm gonna get him to come with me. You should come with me. I can still use your help. <laughs> All right. Why the hell not? Beats drinking alone. All right, Ada, we're gonna send her. Can we send her? We'll send her to Longfellow's cabin. Perfect. We'll find some more, and soon. We'll see you later, Ada. All right, so I knew we would get it. We got to walk in the park, so we might as well uh, go knock on the front door, I guess. Maybe take a little look around. Bloodleaf. Oh, there's some uh, first aid here. What's more, so back of my feet. All right, Longfellow. I knew he was a companion. I just had that feeling. Now, I'm with a faction that despises these guys. So, with that being said, they may not like me here or appreciate that I am here. But they don't they don't got to know about it. Just keep it quiet. Hello. When I first Whoa. climbed this mountain above the fall thought to myself, now here is a metaphor worth taking in. You've entered a place of clarity, understanding. Sorry to interrupt you, I just want to see something. He's really quiet. Peace. While you're here in Acadia, Synthkind welcomes you as long as you welcome us. What are you? I told you. I'm the old synth on the mountain. <laughs> I know the plastic skin and tubes out the back can be unsettling. But I want to ask you to look past that. Tell me why you're here and I'll try to help you. I came here looking for Kasumi Nakano. Really? I'm impressed. Few would brave the kind of journey you've had for the sake of someone else. Kasumi is here. She's safe and unharmed, and you're free to see her if you'd like. Before you do, though, tell me, do you think Kasumi is a synth? I don't know. Why are you asking? Because she came here with that very question, and the answer changes every part of her world. None of us take this transition lightly. She's facing the possibility of her entire life being a lie, that someone stripped her very identity from her and made her into something she isn't. I want you to understand that before you see her. She has a chance here to live as a synth, not hiding, not pretending to be something else. One more question, if you'll indulge me. You're here for Kasumi, but I suspect there could be another reason you came to us. Tell me, are you a synth? 
No, I'm human. I'm a human being, not a synth. Are you sure? I don't mean to question you, but what's the first memory you have? Um, I don't want to say the bombs fell. Let's say I was with my family. I was with my wife. We were getting ready for the day. I had to take care of my boy, Sean. And, uh... <sighs> All of that's happened since then. But no memories before then? No childhood? Your first best friend? Your first... Kiss? That's usually a sign. Data is easy to migrate, but feelings... That's a hard thing to transfer into another mind. Isn't it funny how a memory can feel like a whole different reality? People, places, even sounds and colors can change. Or someone else has changed them. I won't lie to you. There will always be other explanations. Trauma, disease, the background radiation. They all take their toll on the mind. But I can promise you that you will be accepted here. Whatever you decide is true for yourself. That's pretty crazy. Thank you. You've given me a lot to think about. I'm glad to hear it. Acadia is open to you. Feel free to walk the grounds. Introduce yourself to my co-founders, Faraday and Chase. And I'm sure you're eager to talk to Kasumi. She's usually working down below. Is there anything else you need from me? Who are you? What's your story? I came to this island over a century ago, hiding from my creators, the Institute. But after my escape felt secured, I was left with nothing. No program task. No false memories. I spent a year just sitting in a cave. Just sitting. One day, it finally occurred that maybe I could decide for myself what to do. Who I was. I've been doing that ever since. Was there anything else? That's crazy. You should know. The Institute has been destroyed. What? It's over? No more coarser hunts? No more slavery? But that also means the technology to make the synths is lost. Our origins have been buried. Not to mention the loss of human life. Sorry. I'm not going to judge the actions of someone who's wiped out a great evil. You have our gratitude. Is there anything else you need? I don't... I don't want to say I'm in the Brotherhood. I don't think that's a good idea. So everyone here in Acadia is a synth? Yes. Either they were escapees we managed to find before the Institute could, or they were victims of a mine wipe, and we revealed the truth to them. You are from the Commonwealth, like Kasumi, yes? I'm sure you've had your own experiences with my kind. I've been impressed with the sense I've come across. That's good to hear. I hope your opinion of us only continues to get better. Now, was there anything else? I guess not. I should get going. Of course. Perhaps we're in there a lot That's crazy. Time. This Are guy's insane. Like Look at him. You worry too much. Sometimes I feel like you don't worry enough. You know we blew three more relays this week. I'm coming in. You stay right there. Help the sense of Acadia. So we have... Do we have to pick again? Is it going to come down to a choice of who we want to side with? Alright, well here's what we're going to do then. We're going to take these off. Captain Avery. Oh, I didn't talk to him. 
Ah, I didn't see Captain Avery. Whatever, we'll go back later. Um, I'll leave that open, I suppose. Let's take this off. Let's talk to a few of their allies, I guess? Oh, I didn't even see you. I've had hard enough time keeping up with repairs before all this. There are nothing you need to so, be concerned you've about. talked to Dima. You know why we're here. I certainly hope that you'll consider helping us. Dima's vision is worth fighting for. Can you look at me? You're right. It is a good cause. Since definitely deserve to be safe, just like everyone else. It's so good to hear that. Very encouraging. Please, make sure Demon knows that as well. He's put so much of himself into this. All his time and energy devoted to helping others. He never stops to think of himself. Sometimes I worry about... Well, if I wasn't here to make sure his equipment is all functional. And that's not even mentioning maintaining the fog condensers. So many things to keep track of. Seems like he's lucky to have you helping. Thank you. That's very kind. If there's anything I can do to help out, just let me know. Well, if you're determined to help, there is something you could do. It's likely somewhat dangerous, though, so I understand if you'd rather not. It's not them. I'm concerned about you, Dima. You can't solve all the world's problems. Certainly not all at once. Dearest. The boat never finished the trip. You see, so the drives are still out there. I could really use them here for extra parts, if nothing else. My understanding is that the boat wrecked southwest of here. So, does this sound like something you could handle? He had like two conversations at the same time. That's what happened there. Is he switched to that guy, and instead of doing the normal dialogue, he 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 had he, he talked to Dima. <laughs> what happened to the boat? Why didn't it make it? I'm not entirely sure, to be honest. Trappers, fog crawlers, there's no end to what's out there. And what might still be out there. The point is that we already lost someone once. And I don't want to see that happen again. So, are you up for it? Yeah, sure. Let's see. I don't do much for free, Faraday. Ah, right. Of course. I should have thought of that. How does 100 caps sound? Didn't you say this might be dangerous? 100 caps? Seems a little light. Dangers involved. Well, yes, there is that possibility. Uh, would 200 caps be more agreeable? Faraday, come on. I want to help you. I really do. <laughs> 200 caps is just, I mean, it's a little insulting. Oh, oh dear. I'm so sorry. Insulting you was not my intention. Is 300 caps less insulting? That's really about all I can spare. That'll do. All the money! Why don't we just agree that you'll give me all the caps you've got? Fine. 400 caps is as much as I can spare. Now, please, let me know when you found the drives. <laughs> He's a robot. He doesn't know any better. <laughs> I really hope that's not the minute crap. You know what I mean? The same, like, I hope it's starting to look like these, the optional ones, like getting power tools and eliminate the feral ghouls, are the same crap as cleansing the commonwealth, quarter mastery, leading by example, feeding the troops, or, you know, and all these miscellaneous things. Right? Oh, wait. Right. Um, no, but like, like, especially cleansing the commonwealth and quarter mastery, I think those are the same things as these peoples, you know, the data master. I, I could be wrong, but... We'll see. We'll give a couple a try and see how it fares. You track Kasumi here. I'm impressed. Perhaps not as quietly or efficiently as possible. But thankfully, she was never in any real danger. I'm afraid your journey was unnecessary. So, you're saying you could have done a better job of it? Didn't know it was a competition? Yes. Absolutely. Wow. Acadia is a safe haven for synths. Were it not, I would not have aided anyone in reaching it. Every synth I've tracked down, every synth convinced to come here, has been assured that he or she will come to no harm. My job is to make sure they all remain safe, no matter what. Understand? Chill out. How do you manage to track down synths and bring them here? I 
have a network of contacts throughout the area. Some from my time with the Institute, some after. I know the Institute's tactics, and use that to my advantage. You have Dima's blessing, so by all means, make yourself comfortable. So, what's your story? I used to be a courser, returning synths that had escaped from the Institute. I recognize the jacket. I was tracking a synth and instead found Dima. He convinced me of the truth and the error of my ways. I rejected the Institute, made sure they couldn't track me, and dedicated my life to instead helping synths find freedom. Tell me about Acadia. Dima's told you most of what you need to know. It's as safe as we can make it for now. With every new synth we rescue, we're better able to defend ourselves. I'd like to help you all. Is there anything I can do? Actually, as a matter of fact, there is. If you're serious about contributing, well, we've got a situation I need someone to look into. You've had some experience traveling around the island, so you may be decently equipped to handle it. I haven't been here long. All right, I'm listening. We were expecting a new synth to arrive, and he should have been here by now. There's been no sign of him, and I'm concerned that he might have become lost on the way here. You have any leads on where he might be? You should start by talking to Brooks in Far Harbor. He's one of us, a synth. Ah. He's the one who meets the new arrivals and gets them started on the journey here. Of course, he's not likely to tell you anything without proof that you're working for me. If he doesn't cooperate, tell him that his designation is L-792. That should convince him. That's as much help as I can give you for now. Please, hurry. If that synth is out there alone, he won't last long. Cool. Okay. The arrival. So some of these could be mixed in. So it looks like old Longfellow likes how I'm taking care of this. Let's just go see. Uh, look at the data. Who else do we need to talk to? Help the synth. So we can unequip that for a second. Look at all these optional objectives. I'm going to unequip that as well. And let's go talk to Kasumi. That's who we came here to see. You know, this whole bit about my character being... No sense turning your nose up at something that might be useful. You know, the fact that we can't remember anything prior. And that we could be a synth ourselves. I never even would have assumed. Honestly, I never would have thought of that. I don't want to take too much crap, you know what I mean? But if it comes in handy for repairs and things of that nature. So, I understand you've seen a good bit of our island. What do you think? I haven't seen anything. Hell. <laughs> it's kind of beautiful in its own way. That's refreshing. Most don't view it the same. I'm glad someone else can see it. This island, with all of its danger and beauty, predates you and I. The ecosystem isn't what it once was. But it has adapted, and it will continue to adapt, long after we're gone. What's important, really important in the long run, is understanding it. And then, passing that knowledge along to those who will follow us. Okay. That sounds like a noble goal. Well, thank you. I wish more shared the sentiment. I should note that I'm not fully versed in human anatomy. But I'm your best chance of medical assistance should you require Got it. Since Dima has approved of you, I'm more than willing to offer help. I'd like to help you with your research. Oh, well, that's thoughtful of you. Hmm, okay. What can we have you do? There's a flower native to this island, a species of the genus Aster, that has survived remarkably well. It doesn't quite have the brilliance of color that I understand it once did before, hmm, well, before the war. I'm personally rather fond of them, but lately have been investigating secondary chemical properties they possess. If you could bring me additional samples, it would speed up my research. I can offer you a meager amount of caps, if that makes the idea more appealing. I have some flowers for you. Do I'm I? sorry, is this a joke I'm not in on? If you do actually find any, I'll be Oh. Okay, well that's another one of those optionals. Sounds like you got the all clear. So what's your story? Wow. I came here looking for Kasumi. Oh, isn't that sweet of you? That Kasumi's a good enough kid, I suppose. I thought that was sarcasm for a sec. But then aren't we all? 
Not that anyone's asking, but I'll tell you. It all gets easier to deal with when you realize none of it matters. What you are, where you came from, let go of all that, and life gets simple. Fair enough. Yeah, I hear you. Is that so? Huh. Most of the chumps here act like I'm out of my gourd. Good to know someone else sees it my way. Anyway, lately I've taken to amusing myself with trading. He's a trader, okay. Don't have much to work with, but I'm always happy to make a good deal. Let me know if you need something. I probably won't have it, but let me know anyway. Just browsing for now. Ah, some other time then. That's savage. <laughs> Just bra- So, I guess some other time then. <laughs> All right, there's a lot of people here. Holy hell, I was not expecting this. I assume you're not planning on staying long. Hey, don't be that. Don't be that guy, man. I'm just gonna go talk to Kasumi. But yeah, this is a whole settlement, dude. I need to talk to Kasumi. Enough is enough. You know, where is Kasumi? She's repairing stuff. Circuitry is completely fried. Kasumi. Kasumi Nakano. Sorry, I'm right in the middle of something. What's that you're working on? Just trying to cobble some pre-war junk into something usable. Now, do you mind telling me what you're doing here? I'm a detective. I was hired to find you. You... you're a what? You came all this way... for me? Went to some trouble, in fact. Took a walk through the fog to find you. Look, my mom and dad... I, I mean, those people that were taking care of me, they wouldn't want me back. Not if they knew the truth. What do you mean? I'm not their daughter. I'm a synth. I thought if I just left, it would be easier for them. How would that conversation have gone anyway? I've been lying to you this whole time. Your real daughter is dead and I replaced her? <sighs> I don't think that she's a synth, man. Not this one. I'm just, you know, she, you're not a replacement. You haven't replaced anyone. Kenji and Ray are still your parents. I, I really wish that was true. If I wasn't a synth, things would be so much simpler. Have cut your damn self. Are you bleeding? Then. Isn't what I thought it was. There's more going on here than just the refuge. But I can't leave until I've gotten to the bottom of it. I've been running long enough. If something's going on, then I can help. Just tell me what's happening. I don't know how you could. Wait. Wait, of course you can help. You find things, track down answers. That's what you do, right? That's why you came after me. What if I told you that there's a secret? A big secret here on this island. Something way more important than just one lost girl. All right, I'm listening. Okay. Where to begin? You saw all those computers that Dima's hooked up to, right? They hold his memories, or offload data from his brain. Or maybe some combination of both? Well, Faraday asked me to help do some repairs on them. And, you know, I got curious. There's like a century's worth of life experiences in there. And that's when I see it. Data models Dima has been making. One was the fog taking over Far Harbor. Another was a nuclear detonation on the island. Plus, death counts. What if Dima is so open and welcoming because he's actually hiding something from us? A plan to wipe out the rest of the island. Dima turning on Far Harbor? Now that would be cause for concern. I'll help if I can. But that's not much to go on. I know. I've been working on that, but I haven't had much luck. I keep seeing Dima, Faraday, and Chase head into the laboratory at the other end of the hall. Then they come out later looking like they've been arguing. There's actually a storage space right next to there. It'd be a perfect spot to hide an eavesdrop, but it's been locked up. I've also tried breaking into Faraday's terminal since he and Dima are so close, but the security on it is crazy. Um... I don't know. Maybe I'll hack the terminal. Step aside and let the master hacker show you how it's done. If you're sure, good luck. Once you have something, let me know. 
Whatever we find out, I hope there's a way to make some caps out of it. I swear someone has the key to that storage room. All right, there's a couple of ways we could do this. He's always moving supplies around as we come in. All right, hold on. Let me look. Let me look at the map. The in inner map. Where's the local map? All right, so everything's above us right now. Get access to the storage room. Hack the terminal. I also have to talk to Dima, so I don't know. I might, I might be able to just persuade the guy. And be like, dude, what are you doing? Because I have such a high persuade, but her charisma skill. Everything's above me, right? Because you just have to get to the bottom of it. So, either way... I don't know, maybe we'll have a word with with him. Hey, Dima. Did you need something? You could sit there. Oh, never mind. I should get going. Of course. Actually, I don't want him to know that Kasumi's questioning him. We don't want to- we don't want to discover that. So I gotta get into that terminal, but how the hell do we get there? There's got to be a route. Maybe I have a key. Ah, they're open now? Oh, just walk through the damn door. Alright, this is Master Lock. Damn it! I hate wasting tries. See what we can get rid of. I don't want to waste anything. I should have. So I've tried instructor. Let's try print. Yes. Oh, boom! Look at that. System status. Everything good. Faraday's journal. Things are bad. Far Harbor and the Children of Adam are at a brink of warring with each other, and we've, we're caught in the middle. It's the fog condenser, condensers. We just wanted to protect those people from being wiped out by the fog. The Children of Adam think that's a, an affront to their to their god. They want the fog to spread all over the island, specifically Far Harbor. And the people of Far Harbor hate them right back. They blame the Children of Adam for spreading the fog, even though that's science it's fog, even though that's scientifically unlikely. Li unlikely. If Confessor Martin was still in charge of the Children of Adam, we might have better chances. Dima and the old Confessor go way back. Martin was the one that found Dima in the old submarine base and when Acadia was founded. It was Dima who gifted Martin and his followers with the base to serve as their new home. They renamed the base Nucleus and we were originally excited to be working together, making the island a safer place for everyone. But now Confessor Martin has disappeared and High Confessor Tectus has taken charge. He's a dangerous megalo megalomaniac who wants to destroy Far Harbor at all costs and he's been threatening us to help him. Worse, Dima left behind his original memory banks in the Nucleus when he left to found Arcadia. Acadia, excuse me. He blames himself for his lack of judgment, but he's too hard on himself. The children of Adam were our friends back when Martin was in charge. And those memory banks, oh my god. Okay. We should send Chase, but Dima thinks it's too risky. Ah, uh, they'll probably send me. Looks like you know your way around the terminal. Yes, sir. Remember you said I was, like, useless before? Not useless per se, but, you know, like, questionable. Well, I I'm actually going to quickly go talk to him. I just want to see what he has to say. Dima. Is there anything I can do? I know you left some of your memories behind in an old submarine base. That you're worried the children of Adam will get to them. You've been busy. I was hoping you were taking your time learning more about us. Huh. I suppose you have. Maybe this is an opportunity for both of us. I can't send any of my people without risking the children of Adam linking them back to Acadia. But you. You're new to the island. All right. I'm listening. Before I begin, how much do you know? Did you have any questions for me? About Far Harbor, the children of Adam, or my memories? You left your memories behind? How does that work? As a prototype synth, my raw data capacity is limited. I began using computer banks to expand, 
to give me room to ponder, see new things. I had to leave some of my earliest memories behind when I left the sub-base to the Children of Adam. I thought they were safe. You're keeping Far Harbor safe, is that it? Not exactly. They're fiercely independent. But the fog was starting to choke more and more of the island. So I proposed a trade. We would give them the technology to keep the fog at bay. In return for them being a lifeline to the outside world. A safe dock. And a place to buy supplies. Unfortunately, the children of Adam view the radioactive fog as a holy portent. And their bloodied history with Far Harbor puts us at odds. The children of Adam on this island. You were helping them? Yes. I know their faith in radiation as a type of god is a bit... different. But who am I to judge? I was using a submarine base as a home when Martin and his followers stumbled inside. They had been cast out of Far Harbor for their beliefs. When I left to found Acadia, I knew the base would be in safe hands. They needed a home, a place to belong, just like I did. But now Martin is gone, and his successor, Tectus, wants to finally end the feud with Far Harbor by letting the fog swallow them. I know all I need to. Then my plan is simple. Pose as a recruit and infiltrate the Children of Adam. Gain access to their base. In the old command center, guarded by some pre-war security measures, you'll find my memory banks. I'll give you the program you need in order to access my memories. Bring me anything you find. It's not going to be like a normal hack. You'll be breaking through a version of my own mental network. It'll consider you to be an intruder. I've loaded the program with some instructions I've recorded that will help guide you through it. I'm afraid it's difficult to explain without seeing it for yourself. Actually, I already have the program. I was thorough. Well. I guess that just means I've picked the right person for the job. One more thing before you leave. Whatever you do, don't assault the children of Adam directly. Our ultimate goal must be to bring peace. If you attack them, they'll consider themselves at war with the outside world. I've got no love for those mindless fanatics at the nucleus. I won't complain if it comes to violence, hell. Ah, huh, we'll see. Okay, well, just a minute. Am I still talking to Kasumi? Yeah, I'm going to quickly report back to her before we split this. I just wanted to get some intel and get that kind of going, which we did. We've already got the, he's like, oh, well, like, I mean, if anything, I would, if I were that guy, I'd be trusting or, oh, keep going. Sorry. I'd be like wondering if this is this guy, I can actually trust this guy. You know what I mean? I'd be like, um, why were you looting around in my terminal? <laughs> Dude, don't ask questions. So we'll just go tell her what's going on. And we'll just tell her that we're gonna, you know, help him out. Turns out Dima's earliest memories are in the hands of the children of Adam. He's afraid of what they're gonna find. So, is that what those death projections were about? It wasn't Dima planning to destroy the island. He's worried the children of Adam will. Or is he still hiding something? What could be in those memories that he would leave them behind? Is there really something in them that's... dangerous? Do you have a way in? Into his memories? Assuming you can get past the children of Adam, of course. I got this program that Faraday and Dima wrote. It's supposed to help me access the memory banks. Really? How would that work? When I was taking a peek in the computers he has here, Dima was hooked up to his chair. I was just tapping into it. I wonder if you'll need to, you know, connect to the old banks the way he does. Some kind of connection between your head and the computer. Oh, but that's it. And then Faraday's program would be translating Dima's thoughts and data, helping you through any security guarding it. I'm sorry, I'm making assumptions. It's just, well, it's a little exciting, isn't it? You'll let me know what you find? 
I'll keep an eye on things here. All right. So, say I get the memories. What then? If it's something that would really threaten the island, then it's better out of the hands of the Children of Adam. Or Far Harbor, even. And if Dima really can't be trusted, we'll have his own memories to confront him with. All right, let's do it then. I'll get Dima's memories, and then we'll figure things out from there. Good luck. Okay, we got lots of money, and we finished where you belong, and we got an achievement for it as well. So, what we're going to be doing then, in this next, in the next video, uh, I could, I don't know, I might, I have to gain access to Dima's terminal anyway. In the, ch I have to go to the Children of Adam, and then there's a ton of, like, side missions that I could do as well. That's what these all are, side missions. So, this is our next main mission. So, I might go investigate that when we come back. It should be interesting to see what's going to happen. I'm really curious to know what's going on. It's, like, sparked my interest. You know what I mean? So, anyway, ladies and gentlemen, that is going to be it for this video. I am just going to go ahead and quick save. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, do me a favor. Hit that like button. Let's try and get 500 likes on this video if we can. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Also, if you haven't yet, be sure to follow me on my social media. Those are down below in the description. We'll play at the end card of this video. Great way to get in touch with me. Behind the scenes looks, giveaways, things like that. Trust me, it's a good idea to go do it. <laughs> also, if you want to get yourself a shirt or hoodie, this links by Spreadshirt Shop in the description as well. Let's go check that out. All right, thank you so much again, guys. We'll see you in the next video. Until then, let's hand it over to Knox Hill. See you guys next time.